Okay, you know what? Can we give it another day? My wife is pregnant. Perfect. Friday Chelly, Faith Triumph, I don't care about that. Give me my troops, put them on ships, come over here, and get there before they fucking finish sieging. And you know what? We're gonna actually stand you guys down because we no longer need you. Um, can do righteous imprisonment on this <laughs> spy master concubine of mine. So I can straight up get rid of my spy master right now. She wants to kill somebody. I, I really don't care. It's fine. Come on, get down there, please. Hurry. Before they finish this goddamn siege. Now I can slaughter his military. Yes. Wow, look at that. Look at his war score. It just dr dramatically dropped. Okay, so first of all, what we're going to do... Oh. We're going to take you guys. We're going to split you in half. Take, uh... Actually, probably... Even do it more from there. There we go. 1,800. Split you in half. Okay. Hold up. Okay. What the fuck is going on here? Take this group to go there. That group to go there. This group can desiege that. And this final group can come up here to Tunis. And then, um... I'm going to keep my ships raised just in case. Just in case I'm dealing with, like, another revolt of some kind. Really annoying. So I'm trying to actually proselytize as hardcore as I possibly can here. And speaking of which, hey there, lady. You know what? You're doing a pretty fucking piss poor job down there in Granata. Why don't we give you a little bit of money? Let's give you a little bit of cash as well. Do need this war to finish up here because we had um, one of these provinces over here had something. Ponta Vidra. No. There it is, right there. We have to take out what is these Knights of Santiago. I'll deal with them in a second. You know what sucks is I feel like I'm going to end up having to deal with the full brunt of those guys because there's no war that they're involved with. Okay, let's get you betrothed to that man there. Mercia. So how many troops do these guys possess right now? I think they're pretty much their they're full, full installment. You know what I should do? Castle fortifications, baby. Yep. If I'm going to keep these, keep these uh, properties here, I should absolutely be upgrading them. Castle walls. Sounds pretty good to me. Although, shit. Okay, that's got three holdings. That's got three holdings. That's right. I was going to get rid of Madia here. Right. So maybe I should do that right now. Uh, we want ruler no gender men, please. Somebody with high stewardship. Uh, let's scroll all the way to the top. Congratulations, sir. You can now have that county. Need to replace my chief diviner. Tell you out there, buddy boy. Go over here and... Th do your thing. Okay, apparently I don't have enough troops. Interesting. But I will. Oh yes, I will. How many troops do I need for this? Like, so few. We could actually... Split you in half. There we go. Another kinswoman. I am totally gonna have to... Invite a bunch of young men into my court again. Jesus fucking Christ. Speak of the devil, huh? So let's uh, let's do this. Search all, join court, yes. We want men who are not married and are adults. Um, separate by age. Actually, do we have any geniuses? Oop, I can spell. Genius, no geniuses, how about quick? 45 years old, perfect. Come to my court, sir. How about strong? 39 years old. Perfect. And then finally, uh, attractive. Okay, no attractive. So what we'll do is we will just invite the rest of these guys. Invite to court. 
went to court. I don't even care about what your deal is, what your stats are. Don't care. I just need a bullpen just full of these guys. Okay. And just so I don't have to keep doing this shit, let's get a whole bunch of them. It gives me some really good options when it comes to commanders. Because a lot of these guys, look at them, look at their martial score. Fantastic, okay. That's very good, very good enough. Okay, so what we need to do is wait for this, uh, wait for these people to say yes. Or at least wait, wait for a person to say yes. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, we're gonna pause the game. Uh, do matrilineal. Not sure if one of the people with uh, strong or whatever the fuck came through. Just go ahead and do that. Let's see here. You need a guardian. Uh, we want you to become How about a spy master. Sure. Look at that. Positive 76. Booyah, motherfucker. Now, I'm going to assume that after I DCs this stuff, that I might actually be really close, if not have the 100%. Then I'm going to need to actually finish this war and revoke some titles. 80%. Okay. Uh, fairly disappointing. You know what? Since my guys have done such an outstanding job of conquering their way over here, I can probably start doing it for myself. Now that I have most of Iberia... We are coming close to uh, my vassal limit, though. So I got a new daughter. Uh, pfft, you are pretty smart. Let's go ahead and marry you off matrilinally. Uh, we want... So no male babies. Oh, here we go. Seven-year-old, that's strong. Lose a little bit of prestige. Bibia. You know what? Uh, I don't know what I want to call you. What should I call you? You know, I've got like some cassettes sitting in front of me. What should I call you? You know what? I've got a whole bunch of tapes from Clandestine Records. So that's what, that's what we're going to call you. We're going to call you Clandestine. I can spell it right. That is with an L. Clandest Clandenstein. <laughs> Clandestine. There we go. Okay. Got all these fucking raiders still. By the way. Man, what did I say? What did I say? All these guys that are coming into my court right now. Are like all these all these female children, these kinswomen. Okay, so why don't you get married to this 39-year-old strong man? Okay, my heir is sick. Let's call for my court physician. And speaking of which, uh, I should perhaps take a look at and see if there's anybody that can replace him. So, uh, this guy right here, yes. Absolutely. I would much rather if you became charitable, please. Nice. Let's hard save our game. Haven't gotten tech in a while, by the way. Really annoying. Quite unfortunate. Castle fortifications have been built. Fabulous. Um, you know what I could do? So I could get rid of family focus. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think I'm going to keep that. Uh, eventually, I might actually go to scholarship and build the observatory for the chance that we get a whole bunch of tech points. Like, military tech points. Like, that'd be really awesome. But, like, we are still, uh, you know, have a chance of producing some some chillins. So that's what, exactly what we're going to do. We're going to chill. Okay, 85%. Come on. 
Yep, I know they're they're raiding me. They're being fucking dicks. 90%. Okay, so I don't need quite as many troops here anymore. Excellent. We're getting there. All right, Mercia, can we... can upgrade your castle town, which will give me more taxes. Yes, yeah, so let's do that. Because who likes the cash? I like the cash. Motherfucker, they keep raiding me. No! I think I'm going to end up having to, like, probably uh, cut off our, our little session tonight. Whoa, hold up. These raiders are actually coming in to attack me. Okay. So let's uh, let's get our peace. Let's uh, revoke his title, the Emirate. Can we revoke his other title? Yes, we can. And then we can uh, ransom him. Okay, so uh, what was the county that I got? Gabies, Gabies, Gabies. So we want to give it to a new man. Let's reset this. My religion, my culture, men, ruler, no. Content. High stewardship, please. Okay, let's grant you scabies. And then uh, this man here, we are going to grant you the emirate of Tunis. Okay. And that should have taken care of my uh, vassal problem here, I think. Go ahead and take care of these uh, these raiders over here. Oh, by the way, it's been a while since we've done this, but we should probably take a look at our... We can worship the ancestors. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, I would like prosperity and growth, please. I really want to take a look at our prisoners. I know we got some people in here we can uh, absolutely ransom off. So I have eight people here. Is there somebody here that I'd rather not, like, do? Oh, just ransom them off, everybody. Yes. Kill her. Still fucking raiding me, pieces of shit. Okay, so you know what? You want to know something? I've got enough troops here to deal with the, the raiders. We're going to take the rest of these guys, and we're going to ship them on over. The problem is, is this uh, raised vassal levy here. It really sucks. Okay, let's... um. Wait, what? Wait, I want to execute them. I want to ransom them. Okay, so... You guys get on the ships. First batch of raiders is way up here. Two groups. The peasants of Canaries are quite a, quite far apart and spread out. Your spy master suggests investing a provincial messenger system so that they can communicate with their kin more easily. So we'll lose a little bit of money. Yes, we want that. Um. Oh yeah. I completely forgot about the whole uh, mass wealth thing. Boy, I really wish I would have paid attention to that, so maybe we should uh, try to save up our, our money here. I also need to give this man a commander. Uh, I think we'll do uh, Cabo. And we'll put these uh, other guys... Yeah, we'll put these other guys on the flanks. Um, this man here. Here we are. And then as far as this group goes... Okay, your commanders are all straightened out. That's fine. So I'm going to deal with these guys first, and then I'll come over here and deal with them. Uh, let's see here. Anaba. Okay. And then I think after I get my amass wealth ambition, I will go ahead and search for a smith. So let's go ahead and ransom the rest of these people off. If you could, please. Nice. Soldiers have arrived. Let's go to Porto. Do something like this. Morale has definitely recovered quite a bit. I always imagined that would be f the first of us to go, but now I am the one mourning the departure of my dear friend Wright, right? Um, I can distance, distance, distance myself from all my friends. I only have the one friend, which is this woman here, who actually needs to get married. A matrilineal marriage, please. I don't remember... I think... There was nobody else here with inheritable traits, so why don't we do... 
<laughs> 63 year old man, sure. I'm gonna... Friendship will only hurt in the end. Yes, let's let's remove her as a friend. Okay, I have my other son here. I'm actually going to be the one that educates him. Since I only have the other... The one other spare. Um, for stewardship? Yes. Okay. Let's give you... A venerable Elder, first of all. And... I could give him... Let's give him Cupbearer, because he kind of likes me. You know what? And maybe a little bit of money, because he's cheap. And then we'll have him collect me some taxes over here. Okay, I think they're going to end up walking back and forth like that. Oh, did I win this other battle? Yep. Okay. It sucks that we're going to end up, like, really pissing off our vassals by having these guys raised like this. But that's just tough shit. Okay, you know what? Actually, split you guys in half, and uh, we'll take this other stack to deal with this other group. As a matter of fact, I could take care of them, and then hopefully if I kill them off, we can go over here. And then once we're done dicking around with these goddamn raiders, I can finally deal with the, uh, the knights down here. The Knights of Santiago. God damn it, man, they're just fucking raping me. Sucks. Okay, nice. Wow, I've definitely taken some losses over here. And like I said, I don't give a shit if they if they move over into like say Germany's territory and start raiding the shit out of them. I really don't care about that because you know they're they're gonna come right directly for my lands right after that. Okay, so you're going there. You're coming back to my lands. We're gonna actually let this guy finish moving. There we are. Perfect. I think these guys are gonna continually do that. That's fine. Same thing with these guys. I think I'm maybe able to, like, say... What do you mean they're not in a friendly port? What the fuck are you talking about? Go over this way somewhere. Actually, you know what? Just stay there. It's fine. Okay, you guys are going back up to Tunis. Very well. Very good. Okay, so Denny, Denny Bonaducci, let us have you become brave, please. 25% chance. And he gets it! Booyah! Now, if he can only become Midas' touch. Let's take a look at um, religion again. So, where did I put my. Okay, he's up here in Castellon. Castellon. So we just got another guy in our prison. Let's keep trying to uh, ransom them off. The county of Tula... Tule Tula. Tule Tula has converted. Okay. Ransom off the final person here. Uh, you guys are going to go to Bizerta. Bizerta. Can finally use this uh, easternmost stack to come over here and deal with these guys next. This should get rid of the small stack. Okay, got a new kinswoman. Let's uh, get you married off. There we are. Man, I've got so many prisoners here. I just want that cash. We're gonna save up till we get to 500, baby. 
oh man look at these raiders like look at them all over here in Sicily Jesus Christ wow like I'm just getting inundated fucking ridiculous man that's all I gotta say it sucks and my troops are really taking a beating wow I even got fucking more raiders down here for Christ's sakes that's the problem with having all this coastline. Is you gotta deal with all this bullshit. Okay, let's give you... Somebody here. So I don't have anybody... Like, tucked... Oh, there we go. Like, this man right here. Why are you way the fuck down there? You're doing me no good. He is my siege commander, however. But having a commander, no matter what he is, is better than having not, or not having a commander. Okay, uh, hold up, hold up, hold up. So we got this stack down here we gotta deal with. Okay. Slowly but surely. You know what, fuck it, just go attack them again. For the moment. Yeah. Completely slaughter those guys. If I can just get rid of these guys, then I can actually uh, straight up ship these guys down. Okay, we got another prisoner. Very good. Okay, we lost down there. Dude! This is bullshit. I got too many. You'd think by now that these guys would stop fucking raiding me. Because I'm just slaughtering them. Okay, you guys can actually move down. And then, um... You guys are going in a different direction. Okay, very good. Oh, and then... Uh, I did win this battle. You are bent low over your ledgers, struggling to stay focused and keep your eyes open when your wife, Empress Edelhide, enters. She crosses the room and inspects the ledgers over your shoulder. Perhaps a fresh pair of eyes might prove helpful, dear husband. Uh, yes, please. Your wife has received an education in stewardship like yourself, so she quick, quickly grasps the nuances of the problem as you explain it. Uh, the two of you set to work discussing and comparing tax levels. Eldehyde is a most competent steward. Within the hour, you have laid the groundwork for a promising solution. A brilliant idea, Adelheid. Have you any additional suggestions? So we'll finish our work with my wifey. We'll get 50 economic technology points. Wow, that is pretty fucking awesome. And why do you love me so much? Because we're in love. Let's hard save. And let me take a look at those modifiers again. So what is this? Personal diplomacy, love, discovered backing a plot. Abandoned plot. Common interest. Wow. Okay. Pretty good. Let's see here. 24. We're getting somewhat in range of actually being able to uh, change another law. Okay. Castletown is finished. Um, let's go to Marrakesh. Actually, that's right. We've got we to save him money here. We're getting there. I'm gonna take care of these raiders. And then we're gonna we're gonna stand these guys down. Wow. Okay, they're Can you become charitable? Very nice. Oh, hold up. And now we have a peasant revolt. Where? Yeah, right after I dealt with the raiders, and then I get a peasant revolt. Great. The county of Granada has finally converted. Fantastic. Um, I don't really care which which other ones you do. Uh, probably one of the other provinces that I own. That would be pretty swell. 
Then you guys are going to go up to Anaba. Very well. Another kinswoman who has a lisp. Okay, let's separate this by age. Excellent. Lysa. Lysa, Lassa. Let's, um... Let's hear it. First of all... You guys are headed to here. And... Wow, look at that. They just keep coming in. Why? Fucking hell. Like, I just can't seem to get rid of these guys. Go fucking piss off. Raid somebody else, man. There we go. We amassed wealth. It's time for us to build. And even though it doesn't really happen very often, I think we should probably... I mean, as far as sickness, uh, illness and stuff, I think we should build the sick house. And then, um... Yeah, let's build stables. I know the castle fortifications were still pretty dirt cheap. I understand. But I'd like to at least get the first tier of all of the buildings first. So this peasant revolt, they'll get smashed and they'll go they'll go away. As a matter of fact, as long as they uh they don't move or like, you know, can we, if we slaughter them, we st completely stack wipe them. Won't have anything to worry about here. You guys are going to go to where? You guys are going to Berserk. Okay, very well. Okay, there is our Peasant Revolt. Very good. Okay, let us find out. Um, so I can... There we go, 93 gold. I think that was one of the, the Raiders. Very, 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 very nice. Let's get a, another round of Castle Fortifications. And, um, okay, you're going to pick those guys up, which is great. So these guys are, I think, are just, like, straight up walking completely. Like, back home or something. Okay, you know what? Put you in ships. We're going to deal with these fucking assholes over here, because I'm sick of them. Okay, and these guys can finally get stood down. I no longer need them. Another kinswoman. Get you married. We just have this one other little stack here that I have to micromanage. Now I can finally revoke this goddamn title over here. Or excuse me, not revoke the title, but actually attack them. <sighs> Maybe this battle will be the one that did it. Maybe. Okay, and your efforts have become right. I'm so proud to bring honor to the goddess. Very well. Oh, hold up, hold up. We can actually uh, pick an ambition here. Let's, uh... So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna be declaring another war here once I'm done with these raiders. Okay, so we can stand these guys down. Okay, we only have the one stack left. And then I need to uh, de to uh, declare war on uh, the Knights of Santiago here in just a moment. Once I get rid of these motherfuckers, go ahead and uh, stand down our ships finally. 39% chance. Uh, I think I'll investigate that sometime later. Not married at all, okay. Uh, is there... Are there any geniuses out there? 43-year-old. Sure, we'll take him. I'm gonna lose 300 prestige from doing so. I don't care. Nothing to me. These guys are getting the defensive bonus because they keep beating me to the punch. So we got a genius nephew. Fantastic. Uh, we got attractive... Another attractive... Actually, how about this? Why don't we search by genius? No geniuses. Quick. Two-year-old. Perfect. Okay. Um, what we want, we want this man here. Um, and then we want this guy here on the flank. 
Let's heart save our game, by the way. I think I'm going to give it a couple more minutes before I'm really actually going to call it tonight's episode. My hand is starting to cramp. My voice is starting to get really itchy and scratchy. The itchy and scratchy show. Okay, these guys are just going to fucking bounce back and forth like a bunch of assholes. So we'll just leave them to it. I'm guessing there probably are some more castle fortifications I can build. I'm guessing somewhere. Uh, we can do a militia training ground. Sure. Start doing those. Okay, some castle fortifications have been built. Very good. Really making a quick mincemeat out of these guys. Okay, so we got another prisoner. Oh yeah, okay, 1.2 gold. Oops. Nobody else I can uh, ransom off or banish, unfortunately. Boy, I like getting these like random courtiers from these hosts. More motherfucking raiders. Jesus Christ, come on, game. Please. Yeah, so let's adopt those ideas. So that should give us some te technology points, correct? So we do caval cavalry next. I don't want to do that. That was a hard saver game. You know what? After I'm done with this, this stack, I'm going to stand them down. I'm sick of screwing around with these guys. Between the Catholics and the Fraticellis, I can't tell which one's going to come out the victor. Like, if we just take a look at the religious map mode here. Fraticelli, Lollard. Waldensian. Because everybody here is, uh, German pagans. Mercia has converted. Excellent. Let us move you over to the other property of mine, Denia. Actually, that one's not mine. It's uh, Panavidra. Porto. The shit. Okay. Send you guys down, please. So what I need to do is take a look at these guys. They are not at war with anybody. They are feudal. They will not take vassalization. So let's go ahead and declare this war. Oh, and I hate to say it, we're going to use my own levee here for obvious reasons. Okay, for my ships, um, send you guys to El Reef. For real? Wow, you got to be fucking kidding me. Okay, so when do you guys go pick up these guys then? Son of a bitch. So they have 500 troops. Whatever. Got to get a new steward, so we'll take this man. Um, we will give you a champion. Let's have you collect me some taxes, please. And not lead any troops. Our sick house has been built. That's very good. So if we do end up getting uh, some diseases over here, at least we got a little bit of disease resistance. Uh, yes, please become proud. All right, you know what? Instead of you guys just sitting there like retards, can you guys please come over here? There we are. Actually... Just use the rest of my ships to pick the rest of these guys up. Let's find you a hopefully a good child here. Uh, so we got this kinswoman, sure. We'll do that. I 
I guarantee you I'm gonna end up finishing my siege before you finish your siege out there, buddy boy. Let's put our actual siege commander in charge there. Speaking of which, I am gonna need some replacements for my siege commanders. Okay, these guys have raided me for eight ducats. I don't care. You know what, as long as they're not raiding my lands, like straight up, I probably shouldn't give a shit. <sighs> There's just so many of them. Just too many of them. I hate them. Okay, so uh, let's get our next round of uh, fortifications. Uh, yep. Just about done here. Booyah. Create their new vessel. Okay, so if I really wanted to go after one of these guys, I'm going to see the realm prosper. I'm, I'm going to try to remember to not to do this, to not actually go to war. I can't help it if somebody declares war on me. Okay, so... Uh, man, I'm going to end up losing a shit ton of troops if I do this. But we're going to do it with my own troops. Wow. That was a lot of money. Motherfucker. Come on, game. You know, I can actually set these guys to to loot. You know, I really need the money. Hmm. If we take a look at the government's map mode, it'll tell me who else is feudal around here. So it's pretty much just me and then the uh, Levantine people. So why don't we why don't we do that? Why don't we actually go raiding? And then we'll make sure that we actually have a siege commander because that's going to go a hell of a lot faster. Uh, and then you can go on the flank. Instead of raiding, or excuse me, instead of killing the raiders, why don't we just raid ourselves? Easily compensate. A much more efficient use of our, our troops, too. Besides, there are so many different upgrades that I want to do here. Unbelievable. Nice to see that my stewardship here would include another uh, property, but I think eight. Eight is really good. Okay, so actually, you know what? Why don't we take a look at governments? There are no more merchant republics. You guys have feudalized. <laughs> I have no idea how. Whatever, I don't care. Um, just land my troops, please. And then let's hard save our game. And this is where I call it an episode. It's been quite a while since I last had a break. Three and a half hours worth. Although by the time you're actually seeing this episode, it's probably not going to make much sense. It's been fun. We have definitely done Yamoja's work here. Oh yes, we have ourselves our empire title. This ugly empire of Mali. I don't really like the look of it. And it changed us this uh, kind of tan color. We are no longer gavel kind, which is great. We are the agnatic primogenitor. The next time that uh, we die and our, the succession actually takes place, we are going to actually try to change it to agnatic cognatic primogenitor. It's really important to me. Really want to make sure that that actually goes through, which means that I'm going to end up presumably having to create some vassal kings to deal with, uh, you know, problem vassals and whatnot. And then... Uh, I hate to say it, you guys, but I really enjoy this campaign, but if we really start becoming disgustingly big to the point that, like, we're basically unstoppable, I think that's where we're going to give up our campaign. And no, I don't have any plans on continuing this into EU4. Like, I'm kind of tired of doing the whole um, grand mega campaign where we start in CK2 and finish up in EU4. I've already done two EU4 campaigns that were consisted of that. And I've already had requests to do an EU4 campaign as an actual, like, real campaign where you uh, uh, get achievements and stuff. So that's what I'm looking, actually, in, looking into doing here uh, relatively soon. Hopefully, maybe we'll actually play some EU4 once my uh, new computer is being done being built and I get all that sorted out. But we'll see. We'll see. The Mongols are still disgustingly huge. They have a hell of a lot of event spawn troops, although they've lost... 
about five and a half thousand or so. They, uh, I gotta be really careful on how I uh, how I continue to spread here because eventually they're gonna work their way down into these territories, <laughs> and I don't want to be bordering them because they're gonna end up crushing me. <sighs> Very interesting to see how this is turning out. I guess. Anyways, enough. Enough talking. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a break. I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'm not sure when that'll be, but I look forward to seeing you guys there. Maybe we'll actually live stream portion of this campaign again. That was really fun. Whatever it'll be, regardless of it being a let's play or a live stream, I'll see you guys then. Take care and have a good one.